Anyway. No! Damn it. Oh, they cost so much. I didn't want to lose that one. Oh, you just get glass back. You don't get your lead back either. You really want to go careful placing these blocks. That's for sure. Hey everyone, this is Ice Heart, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16.2 Let's Play. It is the morning of day 26. I've spent the whole night mining again and smelting. Um, I'm starting to make these bulletproof glass blocks. I've used up all my lead to make a bunch of these. I still don't think I have enough, so I definitely need more lead. I've also, as you can see in my inventory, I've crafted the trigger plates, the switch, the, uh, I've done the vault doors last time, I think. The dart traps and the generator bank. Okay, so at some point soon, we're going to be needing to use that. I think I've got a wire tool over in there. So we're going to have a play around with that. And it'll be the first time I've ever done that. So that'll be pretty cool. We've got plenty of iron at the moment. Uh, well, enough to do what I want to do. I should probably get some of my forges smelting the iron, though. Um, okay, let's split that up and then split that up there and there. Get a bunch of iron into there. Let's just get the wood in because we're going to need as much iron as we can possibly get to upgrade my spikes. So let's just get that going. We've got stone in there. We're probably done with needing stone just for a little while. Although saying that, I don't actually have that much concrete remaining. Um, so let's just update that. Actually, I might be able to get some cement. Cement. There we go. Let's just craft all of that. But let's get iron into here whilst that's going. Now, what do we got here? Uh, that probably just needs turning on. So I'll get that going as well. That'll do. Right, let's get going. What I might do is go and have a... If I've got enough space in my inventory, I do, I think. I'm going to go and get that uh, airdrop from yesterday. Just for a little change of pace from building. So let's go around and do that. And I will see you there. So let's get going. Okay, here we are. We found it. Just behind this tree here. I think that's a deer down there, look. Ooh, it is. I don't know if I've got space for anything. Oh, I keep taking too much with me. Let's have a look what's in here. What do we got? An SMG barrel, SMG receiver, an AK-47 receiver, and a rocket launcher barrel. That's a terrible, terrible airdrop. Um, I don't even know if I actually want any of that. I mean, I do want it to sell, but... Uh, what am I going to do? Right, there's a thing there. Let's put some stuff in here for now. Uh, yeah, I stopped off and got some resource boulders on the way. There we go. Right, so that gets that. Is it worth going to get that deer? It might be. You always run out of meat, so you should probably stop to get a deer when you've got the chance. And we'll get this guy here. Lovely. And we got a bit of brass. And we'll just chop up this deer with the axe. I wasn't prepared for this, so I don't have a decent tool for getting meat. But never mind. It's one of those things. There we go. Uh, oh, it's one large bone. I'm sure we can live without it. Okay, so if I... Uh, I'm going to need those three, so let's, let's drop all this into there, and we'll pull these out, and that way I can just grab some of these resource boulders as I see them, because I need the lead, especially for making the bulletproof glass, I need the iron, and this gives a nice easy supply of iron as well, well I'm not seeing anything else, I really only have that much lead, did I put the lead in here? I thought I had lead. Oh, yeah, I've got 65 lead. That, that gives me, uh, I think it's 40 per bulletproof glass. Oh, we got a bunch of vultures there. Have we got a horde of vultures? We don't want a horde of vultures. 
They're not very nice things. Okay, so we're gonna head back and uh, see what we can do with Karen on our base. Ah, that looks incredible, doesn't it? There's a building over there. I didn't realize that. In fact, what I might do is uh, just gather some of these on my way back. But I will still see you there because who the hell wants to see me smashing rocks to pieces? Maybe you do. But I wouldn't have thought it's all that exciting. So, yeah, I'll do a few of these. Um, probably need some of that. I need to do some farming as well. I keep getting really bored with the farming. Or oh, not bored with it. It's not boring. That's the wrong word. Um... I, I just keep neglecting it. I just don't even think about doing it. You know what I mean? So it's uh, a bit annoying like that. Let's get some of these. Okay, so I will see you back there when we're ready to do some more building. Okay, so we are back and it looks like some of this has be actually been drying pretty well. But we should just be able to get in here now. Oh, I do love that. That is just freaking awesome, to be honest with you. But I think what I am going to do is... Oh, you know what I don't have is rebar. I was going to finish some of this off. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking... Oh, I still don't know what I want to do with this corner here, basically, is what I'm thinking. I'll tell you what, because I don't have the rebar, I'll just get on with what I can do now. So let's get up there. And uh, what we're going to do is take these out and we are going to put down the dart traps. So I'm not sure that will be facing the wrong way. We need them to face down. And so we want that. So I want to rotate advance, I think. And then just rotate that out. And yeah, I don't know if that's what we want. Like that. And... Oh, go careful, go careful. I don't want to waste these. They're not cheap. And there we go. There are our dart traps. So that's pretty cool, I would say. Yeah, I like that, actually. That blends in quite nicely. You wouldn't even know that's there. So the other thing we need to do is uh, drop these out and put in the pressure plate. So the idea being behind this trap that someone stands on a pressure plate and it automatically starts shooting from the one above. So that's the idea. And I think it works quite effectively from my understanding. And I really want to give that a proper try. So let's do that. Where is the pressure plate? There we go. Now I think this is right. How does that work? Uh, I'm not sure how that works, actually. Is that right? It might be right. I, I can tell I've not played with these before, so this is a bit of a, an experiment for me. So I'm just going to put it there. Okay, I guess that is what you do. Do you put anything below it? Because that seems relatively weak. No, I can't seem to put anything below it. I wonder if that means really what I should be doing is knocking this out and putting rebar in. It probably does mean that, and it probably makes sense to as well, just to protect anything uh, around my entrance just a bit better than what it would currently be. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. So I'll put some rebar in there. But you can hear it pressing. And that should shoot down when someone is here. Now, yeah, we should be... I should be able to interact. And I should be able to actually put some darts in there. And you've got to lock it afterwards, I believe. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to put half in each. So 250 in each. There we go. So they're loaded up, ready to go. They just need some power and something to trigger. But I quite like that. So I'm going to head off uh, back to base and get a few rebar frames. So I'll see you in a second.
Okay, so we're back and I've got a bunch of rebar blocks here so I can fill this area in and make it look like everything is uh, sort of lined up, which is nice. There we go. Now it doesn't look weird. You always get this weird problem in uh, Seven Days to Die because it's how they've done the natural terrain. Uh, it just doesn't merge up with anything else and it is quite annoying. But... That should at least, you know, do its job. How do I interact with that? Oh, yeah, cool. So, power delay instant power duration triggered. So, what does that mean? I don't know, to be honest with you. But that is currently set up how I wanted it. So, can I get in here? It would be quite cool to be able to... Um, I'm not sure how I want to do that, you know. So what would be quite cool is if uh, you had, like, an electrical trap along there as well. Right, I know I want to dig this up because it looks awful. I definitely want this sorted out. And we want that filled in. There we go. That looks terrible. Um, I just don't know what to do with it, though, to be honest with you. I'm going to fill them in for now because I'm not sure what else to do with it. There we go. Just to surround those plates with the concrete. Okay, so now we've got that sort of done. I should probably get all of this taken care of. And we should also probably start playing with how I want to wire this up as well. I think if we get these front ones upgraded to concrete, uh, we'll be quite defensible by the door area or the entrance, which you definitely want. There we go. That at least matches up with what I've done that side, I think, sort of. The other thing I could do right now, actually, in fact, there's a couple of bits I can actually do, and that is I could put the vault doors down. So we'll do that. And we'll get a door in there. And there. So that stops me carrying that around, obviously. There we go. So now we've got our entrances. Lovely. Now, the other thing we can do is I've got 18 of these bulletproof glass blocks. So I should be able to put these up, and this is reinforced glass. And I think I'm relatively safe doing this. Apart from I've got nothing to actually defend myself with. But look at that. That is the goal. It doesn't look too... Let's turn the light off. It doesn't look too... Uh, closed in, but those blocks, I believe, uh, let's just smash one. I don't know what you repair them with, uh, but they're 3,000 hit points, as you can see. Oh my god, did that use an entire glass block to repair it? Oh my god, you don't want any damage happening to that. Anyway, no! Damn it. Oh, they cost so much, I didn't want to lose that one. Oh, you just get glass back. You don't get your lead back either. You really want to go careful placing these blocks. That's for sure. Yeah, there we go. We got some glass back, but that means I can't fully fill this in. That is annoying. But we are more or less indoors now, which I quite like. This is get this base is gradually getting there. 
So obviously the bulletproof glass, if you didn't know, that is brand new for Alpha 16. So we are making use of some new things, which is lovely. All right, this needs to be upgraded. It's a very dark, horrible, overcast day today in the game. There we go. Construction tools is leveling and we are almost concrete across the board. I'm not sure how high I want to go yet, which is why I'm not doing anything with this rebar here. It's really, the, the height is kind of dictated by the entrance and how I want to interact with that. Yeah. Though the other thing is, is that I want some kind of lip up here for spider zombies uh, before day 28. Right, we are concrete all the way round. Not fully dried, but we're at least concrete. We're not reinforced concrete. How much have I got left, actually? 311. That is not much. Uh, probably enough to start upgrading some of that at the front entrance. There we go. And maybe some this side. Give us some extra. Yeah, and we're out of concrete. Okay. So I suppose the next thing to do um, is to try to sort of figure out... I still am tempted to put something here, you know. I don't know why that tempts me so much. Maybe just to make it look symmetrical, but I kind of like the open look of how it is. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, it's easy to interact with like this, and I can definitely interact with my traps. So the other thing to consider is the generator. So if we go inside, and now I could put the generator uh, down here, I suppose. Yeah, right inside. We'll be able to pick it up at another point. I need to put some engines into it, but we've got engines, so... Yeah, what else can I do? I, I want to put a switch up here. And that's going to be my master switch for now, until I figure out where else I want to put this electrical stuff. So what I'm going to do is get the wire tool. And let's have a play with how that works. In fact, I might need to put that there because I think what I want to do as well is put a switch here. It's a switch light on. <laughs> yeah, so that switch there is going to be to power that up. Okay. So if we link that, how do I do this? There we go. Okay, so you right click and I want to hook it up to there. Okay, so that powers the switch. Then from this switch... Yeah, there we go. It's a little slow. I want to power that switch. Oh god, that looks awful. But is it going to be functional? That's the key at the moment. Then from there... I want to be able to turn these triggers on. So does that do what I want to do? And then from there to there. And then from there to there. And then I want to power that one to that one. Oh my god, this looks absolutely awful. This looks terrible. <laughs> that looks awful. How the hell do you get that one to work properly? Okay, so it's on, is it? I don't even know if that works. What happens if you... Oh my god, that looks absolutely terrible.
Damn it, they're coming in here. No! Okay, we have a horde on our hands and they've gotten themselves into my base. Alright, that lot's okay around there, but there's gonna be people in here destroying my concrete. Oi! Stop wrecking my stuff! But I've only just set it up. Oi! Oi, and you lot! Oh, I'm out of concrete! I didn't want you lot destroying everything! And you, you're destroying all this! How did you get even get in? Oh, and I'm bleeding out. Right, let's use that. There we go. I shouldn't be wasting those, but it's the only thing I've got on me. Ah, oh, I don't believe that. I'll take those, though. Uh, there we go. I mean, the base is working, as you can see. It's just... Oh, I just don't want them interacting with it just yet. Okay. Uh, so, let's put the engine in here, then. What damage do they do? Do I have enough... To repair something. Uh, I might do. Yeah, I had enough to repair it at least. There we go. So that's repaired. What else did they break? Oh, I'm out of concrete. Damn it. Okay, I definitely need a lot more concrete. But let's uh, put something in here. Uh, open that and we'll put the engines in. There we go, and then we'll refuel, and we'll turn it on. So that's on, and that is feeding that, and that is on. So that means... Whoa, -ho -ho, that definitely worked. Yeah, 248, that shot twice. Right, so that works, but it looks damn awful. How do you get that to actually look good? I'm not really sure on that. Um, because those wires just look absolutely terrible. I mean, the, the, in principle, it works. So that's that's good news. Right, I could turn that off now, though, because I don't want to waste the uh, fuel. Right, let's just turn all that off. There we go. So, that's our first look at electricity, but I'm not too keen on how these have been set up. And I'm not really sure how you're meant to link that lot up without, whilst hiding that cable. Yeah, I'm not sure how you're meant to do that at all, actually. That looks damn awful. But it is functional. Now, the other thing I'd like to do is set up uh, an electrical thingy. That would be really neat. Um, so, what does it cost to do that? Electric fence post. That's what I want. Uh, and that costs two electrical parts and five forged eyes. So, I only need two of them, actually. Okay, so let's go do that. Okay, we're back. Paranoid about that kind of thing now. <laughs> um, so, I want to play with these things, and that's the electric fence posts. Now, I'm wondering where you kind of want that. In fact, they don't even go there because of the gates, so they're going to have to go here. Wow, they are huge! Okay, so that means... What we really want to do is drop this down. That is ridiculously big. <laughs> um, yeah, I won't say what I was thinking there. Um, let's dig up that soil and... 
Let's see what that looks like in there now. Uh, we want that rotation there. Yeah, whatever, as long as it stays there. So that's too low. So I probably want, say, a wooden block down there. And then we'll upgrade that. Is my guy cold? He looks cold. We'll sort him out in a minute. Um, I want that. How much does that sell for? 10. Let's just scrap that. And where's my uh, jacket? There we go. All right, so. Uh, we also want... Yeah, I've got the hammer there. Okay, so we'll just upgrade it twice. And we'll pop that there. Yeah, I like the look of that. And then we want to break into here. I hope this is a good way of doing it. Because I don't really know. And... Got the shovel. Let's do that and then upgrade that wood. To be honest, that should be concrete, but I just don't have any at the moment, so I'm kind of doing it like that. So there's the fence post done there. I need to uh, just go round all this, I think, with rebar. Just this entrance bit. Just because at the moment it looks blooming terrible. Okay, so then with the wire tool, I think what we want to do is go from here to there. Lovely. And then from there, all the way over here to there. And that means now we should have, whenever we turn this on, an electrical trap. That's so cool. I'm just wondering if those iron bars should have been the other side. I think they can actually go the other side. Because that is in the block of the ground. There isn't actually anything stopping this going the other side. And it would have meant that this could be closer. Because that means I could have stood here. Although, do I need to be that close? I don't know. I think that kind of is going to work, you know. I like that. Apart from I don't like the wiring. But it is cool. So we have an electrical tripwire. And that tripwire will electrocute the zombies. And they'll be shot up with this. So our entrance, I think, is covered even though it looks awful. It, it's functional, at least. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.